Hello, fellow orbiters. This is Unknown Orbiter here with you for a orbiter speech recognition module demonstration. Um, there seems to be a lot of confusion concerning various aspects of this module, so hopefully this video will clear all of these confusions up. So let's just jump right on the horse here and start out with the press function because this apparently is one that is not included in the manual and it's very useful. Um, the way it works is you say the word press and then you say a key or a string of keys and you could say press C or press 4 or press F8 or press space all those keys work and I'll give you a little demonstration press C A P E space C A N A V E R A L. Boom, just like that. And there you have it. And very useful for doing stuff such as um, inputting targets. So, you see, that's very useful. And um, hopefully, you guys will find it useful also. Another reason to use it is because you can change view screens. So I could say, press F8. And just like that, you see it has changed my virtual cockpit. Very useful, so you don't have to touch your keyboard anymore, which is, you know, what this is all about, am I right? All right, um, so let's get into the MFDs. The MFDs seem to be a point of confusion for a lot of people because of the sort of um, string of commands that you have to you know, travel through. But um, I'll break it down for you you have to say MFD1 to select the left MFD or you can say MFD2 to select the right MFD um, once you say a certain MFD every command after that will be acted upon onto that specific MFD so if I say MFD1 um, MFD select it'll do MFD select on the left MFD so and same goes to the right MFD for MFD2 I'll give you an example MFD2, MFD select, orbit MFD, and see, just like that, and um, you can switch MFDs, MFD2, MFD select, alright, and now I'm going to switch, MFD1, MFD select, base sync MFD, target, and it's just like that, it works perfectly. So, um, hopefully that clears up a lot of the confusion. So just to go over that real quick again, you say MFD1 to select the left MFD, or you say MFD2 to select the right MFD. So, let's skip over now to the display computer, which is also um, heavily reliant upon the uh, Orbiter speech recognition module. Um, you can say display, to go to the display list and you could say pro to do that to enter the pro command you can say the numbers one or four zero whatever and um, the thing about it is because of the way that the vessel configuration file is written for the recognition module specifically for the delta glider four you don't have to say press one press two etc you can just say one or two, you know. So, for example, pro one zero four spec four zero uh, four uh -oh. four zero. What the hell? Huh. Pro pro. Oh, it seems that my video uh capturing software was getting in the way. Alright, well you get the point. You can just say pro one zero four spec four zero and then say enter and then you can say execute but I won't say that because then I would go into reentry autopilot and that's not the best idea to do when you're docked to a space station now is it? And you can say clear to clear any program that you have in there. Now um, uh, let's see here. Um, control surfaces. I can say undock. 
and just like that, I am undocked. Um, I can say nose cone. And just like that, we got nose cone. And I can um, say gear to release the gear. And I can say air brake to release the air brake. And um, everything, all, almost all the control services are, can be controlled via the voice commands. And um, just because of the way my video software works, it gives me like a two second period with which I can do these voice commands. So um, I can't really show them in action too well here, unfortunately. But um, um, the feedback, the uh, reaction time of the module is very, very good when you don't have a video software running. Um, also, the autopilots work as well. Um, I can do AP prograde, AP retrograde, all that fun stuff. AP prograde. Just like that. Kicks into gear. I can say AP normal. Switch is there. Kill rotation. Oh, sorry. Kill rotation. And just like that kills the rotation. Um, it's very, very responsive and it works with all of these autopilots uh, except for the re-entry one because the re-entry re one's more complicated than the rest obviously. Um, RCS mode works as well. See? Switches my RCS modes. I could say RCS mode, RCS mode, and it'll switch between the two for me. Um, some limitations, however, unfortunately, are the uh, main engines and bank and pitch and the um, actual RCS thrusters, because the way the recognition module works is you can't have, um, you, you only get small increments when you do this, and really that's not helpful at all. So, um, unfortunately, you cannot do that as of now. However, I have edited my vessel configuration file to um, do things such as main engine cutoff, so I'll show right here, I'll add some engine thrust, and then I will say main engine cutoff. Boom, just like that, real simple. Um, I've also edited my vessel configuration file to do stuff such as time warping. Faster. Faster. Slower. Slower. So easy as that, I can edit commands, and really it took me five seconds to learn how to do it because it's such a simple, simple system, and it's just amazingly simple how it is. I mean, two lines of code for each of those little things, and they're barely even code. They're like plain English is what you're typing in to make these things happen. So um, yeah, really easy to edit configuration files. Everything um, about editing these configuration files is included in the manual for the... Um, module itself, so peruse that if you really want to know how to do that stuff. Um, actually, I've just gotten my control services to work, so I can give you an example of those. Gear. And just like that, gear come out. Air brake. Just like that. Nose cone. Just like that. Um, it's just really, really responsive, and I love that about this module. I mean, if I've got to throw in some personal commentary, it's just amazing. And um, hopefully this video has proven to be very helpful to uh, most people who have been having issues. If you have any more questions, comments, concerns, you can PM me in the Orbiter form, or you can post directly into the uh, uh, Orbiter Speech Recognition Module thread. Um, I hope this has been a help to you, and this is Unknown Orbiter signing off. Thank you very much.